What's happening, Guardians? This is your man Sly here, bringing you some juice on what's going on in the world of Destiny. Details have finally been released that give us a look inside the exclusive Red Bull quest coming to the Taken King. Now, this is only available if you've bought your Liquid Heart Attack with a code underneath the tab. Or if you just happen to be one of those lucky bastards that won a code from a giveaway. Now, so far, I've bought tons of Red Bulls from my giveaways, which I'll post a link to in the description. Either way, if this is Red Bull's way of taking over the world, dude, I've already jumped in head first. So let's take a look at what you can expect. Now keep in mind this is only a glimpse at what's to come. You can expect an ass load more loot and content once you actually get your hands on the Taken King. So it starts off by saying that three Guardians, Flamesword, Enkutch, and Mag are about to become the very first fire team to beat the quest. It drops their asses off in the ship hangar area of the tower where you have to flirt around with Amanda Holiday, the shipwright before that stingy lady actually lets you partake in this epic quest. By the way, this is kind of off topic, but have you ever seen her leg? Next time you're at the tower, man, just stop by and take a look at that thing. Okay, so anyway, back on topic. She starts off easy and asks you to put your marathon shoes on so you can go complete one of those new energy spike patrol missions. Now, if you haven't seen these yet, the icon on patrol looks like a watch face. Here's what it looks like in the game. Unexplained energy bursts from this area have been compromising our navigation systems. We must find out why. The idea is that you have to run, or Sparrow Boost, through these energy signatures, slowly gaining up energy points for every signature that you run across. As you can see here, the spaces between each energy gate deplete the amount you have stored up. So the slower you're running from signature to signature, the more you have to keep running in order to charge up to 100%. Now I won't lie, in a large area this is actually very, very annoying. And this quest asks you to kick it up a notch by completing it in a specific amount of time. Not only that, it makes you shoot for a secondary stage called overcharge. And you have to overcharge three times. Basically overcharge is reaching 100% within a certain amount of time, thus letting you run the course again with boosted charge rates. To complete this bad boy, you must reach overcharge 3 before Amanda considers you worthy enough to come back to the tower. So the fire team at Red Bull totally bombs this the first few tries according to the reveal. And it's also worth noting that this will be done on the Dreadnought, a place nobody has set foot yet. So our fire team gives it a go again, and after figuring out the right route to take, they surpass overcharge 3 and make it all the way to 5. Congrats are in order, but this is the easiest part of this quest. Up next, the fire team has to complete the new Saber Strike on level 40 in under 18 minutes. One of the Guardians makes a sly comment stating that it'll be beat in 7. You might have seen this clip from one of the trailers that have popped up over the last few months. We have rooms that begin to feel like bosses. They're like a tip in the next direction that we're going to go. After dying an ass load amount of times, they figure out what has to be done. The relic must be used in a certain way to unlock the following passages without being zapped by the electric halls and wiping your fire team in the darkness zone. So after a try or ten, they reach the boss area of the room with only minutes left on the clock. His rotating energy shields of arc, solar, and void only really complicate the matters in the end, and a clutch move by the fire team kills the boss with the use of all three supers at the same time. Literally seconds were left on the clock. So much for seven minutes, right? Finally, it's back to the tower where they reap a sweet reward, the SR0 Swift River. It's a great prize, but they weren't lying when they said it's a multi-step quest, because we're off to the Crucible. To advance into the next stage, jump into a Rift playlist and see if you can make Shaxx proud. There are two challenges in the Crucible. The first is that each Guardian and the Fire Team must pick up the spark and dunk it in for points at least one time. Then continue on and win three matches of Rift. It's also worth mentioning that you can score in any game, win or lose, as long as you've dunked in the spark at least once. The second part can take place in any Crucible map or playlist. Once again, your fire team must win three matches overall, and those matches has to be won with one member of your fire team placing first with most points overall. Now our Red Bull fire team is comprised of PvP experts. They run right through this, but for some reason this seems like it's a little bit too much in my opinion. You know, not everybody is a PvP god, and I can see a few teams becoming stuck on this part. However, it is worth the trouble, because as soon as you get back to the tower, this is waiting for you. The Joyride Ghosts. Now see, Shax isn't so bad, right? Well now you're thinking, it's over, right? <laughs> Man, I don't think so, dude. Amanda isn't done with you just yet. 
You're in for a few more challenges, and the next one on the list is to complete a modified version of the new strike called the Sunless Cell. This is where you face off against this D-bag, Dark Blade. So you end up dropping into complete darkness with this guy. He's teleporting all around you while simultaneously trying to fight off minion after minion. It's no easy task, and add that stupid timer once again, and it just becomes simply frustrating. I also noticed the rewards were left out in the reveal, but upon some digging, I found this. Now take a look at this bad boy. I will take a reward like this any day of the effing week, man. More items are bound to drop for completing these strikes than just the two Red Bull prizes, so that's not all you will be requiring during this quest, so don't panic. Well, actually, man, go ahead. Panic one more time, because this thing just keeps dragging along. Next up, again... The fire team heads over to the Shield Brother Strike, where they must complete another level 40 strike in under 18 minutes. With heroic difficulty and the revolving enemy styles, you never know what to expect, but they find out real quick and realize that they need every second of those precious 18 minutes. After a few failures, the Cabal Bros go down. Now keep in mind that this fire team consists of some of the top tiered players in the Destiny community, and even they are barely squeezing through some of these timed challenges. You know, I have a feeling there's going to be a few extra bald guardians next week from the amount of hair that's going to be ripped out. Well, in any case, it's over, guys. It is finally over, and they head back to Amanda, and she hands out a consumable that upgrades their previous loot drop, the SR0 Swift River, to an SR1, a faster, more nimble version than the Tumbler, and it actually puts it to shame. With their new sparrows in tow, the quest ends. Man, it is about effing time, dude. You know, I'm all about quests and a challenge, but for those rewards, well, you know, let's just hope that that new ghost shell deals out some breakfast or doubles up as a cell phone because that is a shit ton of work for a lot of guardians. You know, and they're going to be stuck on this for quite some time, I imagine. This stuff isn't all that easy. So if you're one of those beastly players out there that can fly through stuff like this, man, become legend. Help out your brothers and sisters in the Destiny community. You know, one of the reasons why I love this community is for that exact reason. Everyone's willingness to help each other in the time of need. Whether it's simple gameplay or a physical real-life problem. You know, a great example of this is the Nepal earthquake relief. Bungie led the way in the U.S. as one of the most giving companies to the relief effort. And that was thanks to all of you who donated. This time around, it might not be money needed. But I have a feeling in the Taken King, a few of the Guardians are going to need some of your time. So strap a few to your back and get going. So that's all I got for you guys right now, Guardians. Stay tuned to Slide Nation for the latest Taken King news. If you want to follow me on Twitter and Google+, check it out right above you. It's Slide Nation, and this is your man Sly, signing off.